So what I presented at this meeting was a Checkmate 214 study, which is a first-line study in metastatic kidney cancer, looking at the combination of nivolumab and ipilimumab compared with sunitinib. So the rationale behind was that this combination has been tested in several tumor types, active in melanoma as an example. And in, in renal cancer, we did a phase one, which was quite encouraging with good response rate, good survival. So we went to this large phase three, one, more, more than 1,000 patients, where NIVO and EP is given together for four doses. NIVO three milligram per kg, EP one milligram per kg, every four doses, and then maintenance therapy with nivolumab. Compared with sunitinib as a control arm, more than 1,000 patients. Primary endpoint was in intermediate and poor risk patients. So classification by what we call IMDC in renal cancer. So most of the patients were poor and intermediate risk patients, although we had also a group of good risk patients, 250 patients here. All patients had tumor available for PDL1 testing, which is one of the exploratory endpoints we did. So that's patient population and the study design here. When we look at the data now, first of all, we had three co-primary endpoints in intermediate and poor risk patients, response rate, PFS, and survival. All the three are improved. OS is improved significantly, hazard ratio is 0.63, which means 37% reduction in the risk of death. 26 months for sunitinib, not yet rich for NIVO-EP. Second, objective response rate is much higher with NIVO-EP, 42%. And moreover, 9% patients have complete remission and probably are cured. Durable responses are seen with this regimen. And third endpoint, PFS, improvement by more than three months, which is not statistically significant here, but p-value is 0 0.03, which is still very good here. So overall, very good data in poor and intermediate risk patients. Second message, it's manageable. Safety profile was as expected, and grade three, four toxicity are less than we have with sunitinib. And as consequence of that, quality of life was better in the study with nivo EP than it is with sunitinib, which was anticipated, but good to confirm here. We had two important exploratory endpoints. One was to look at the good risk patients, so patients which were not intermediate and poor risk. Surprisingly, in this group of patients, sunitinib seems to be better, at least in terms of response rate and PFS here. So we, ha we have to wait for survival, but that might not be the best group of patients to treat with nivoid. And second exploratory endpoint, which is of interest here, is the patients who do express PDL1, which represent overall 25% in our study here. Those patients do really good. PFS response rates are much higher, as well as sunitinib has a lower efficacy here. And complete remission in this group of PDL1 positive is 16% of patients who have complete remission here. So certainly the global conclusion of the study is one. That's going to become the new standard of care in patients with metastatic kidney cancer, certainly in patients with intermediate and poor risk group, maybe not in good risk patients. Whether we should have to look at pd one expression is something we'll have to confirm later on, but that's going to become very soon the new standard of care. Well, whilst Sister was looking at sunitinib as a single agent, are there any considerations for comparison to the recent CABOSUN trials? So the, uh, the cabosan was also updated at this meeting, and certainly cabozantinib is one of the drugs we could use in the intermediate and poor risk patients. My interpretation of the data is that nivo EP is probably better than it is with, uh, with cabo, although we don't have head-to-head -head comparison. And my personal view is that as cabo is superior to, uh, to sunitinib, one thing I would probably like to do, if possible, is to use CABO in good risk patients. And maybe if some specific poor and intermediate risk patients like bone meds patients here, and I would keep NIVO EP for the majority of the, of the other patients. But it's going to change a lot because I think in the near future, only NIVO EP and CABO will be used in first line. So it's going to change a lot.